Hey everybody, so today I'm really happy to finally, finally, finally bring you my review on the Riri collection. And I got all the pieces now. The Riri Boo, the Riri Boy, and the Ho. Oh. <laughs> so I, I, I feel awkward saying that, and I have a foul mouth. So that, that has to say something. Um, let's start seeing, I have everything and I'm prepared to show you some fantastic dupes. I've already focused on, um, Riri Wu in the past, so I'm really not going to focus on that right now. But Riri Wu, which I have right here, really, really honestly, is just a lightly bluer tone version of Ruby Wu. Honestly, if you have Ruby Wu and you couldn't get your hands on Riri Wu, you're really not at a loss, honestly. I mean, the only difference is her signature's on it, and it leans very, very minutely slightly blue. I mean, it's it's almost unnoticeable. And side by side, it's pretty unnoticeable. But if you're a sick stickler for all the MAC lipsticks that come out and you want to collect them all, then you would have been able to get your hands on the Riri Wu again during the summer release, which was on June 18th. Um, I just got back from vacation, so I just got all my pieces. So, um, today I'm going to show you, um, like I said, Riri Boy and Ho and their dupes. So, we have here, this is, this is, this is Ho, and it's spelled H-E-A-U-X. Um, you know, Mac kind of likes to push the limits, so I think it's appropriate that they did that. I just, um, uh, I'm sure it turned many off and made many happy, so, um, it is what it is. So this is Ho. It is a retro matte formula, meaning that it is more matte and more dry than the regular matte formula. So if you don't like the regular matte formula, you might not like this, but you can always soften it up with a little bit of a, <laughs> God bless you, with a little bit of a moisturizing base or prep and prime or even just chapstick. Honestly, will help the lips retain the moisture underneath the product. Now, if you were not able to get your hands on Ho, because I know that that little instinct online queue is just a bitch, honestly. God bless you. It's just terrible, 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 terrible system. Literally, I had like five different devices waiting for them to hit. It's crazy. It's, it's not right. So if you weren't able to get your hands on Ho, a comparable product is Rebel. Now, when swatched side by side, you can see that Rebel, I mean, in the tube, Rebel looks remarkably darker. But swatched on the hand or even on the lip, Rebel is just slightly purpler, more, I guess, blue, more that blue purple than Ho is, but they're very similar on the lips. They're both that berry color. So the tube's a little bit deceiving. And this does have her signature on it the Riri, the Ho, the Riri Ho. So I'm gonna do a quick hand swatch to show you. So that's Rebel. And that is a satin finish. So if you like, if you like the shade Ho, but you wished it was a little more moisturizing, you can always pick up Rebel because it's it's very similar. And then this is the Ho. So as you can see, they're very similar, but Rebel leans a little more purple, and you can see this kind of dragged a little dry on the skin. But when they're on the lips, like I prefer the matte version, matte versions of Mac lipsticks because they are so kind of like velvety. I like that dryness. They last longer on the lips and I personally like them. I would just suggest that you apply slowly to avoid tugging and apply moisturizer underneath to avoid that drying sensation that you may or may not feel depending on your lip type. Um, if you did pick up Rebel and you'd like to have the long staying power of the Retro Matte, you can always apply a lip liner underneath and when you apply Rebel it will stay longer on top of a similar color lip liner. Um, I'm still looking into which lip liner I would like to suggest, so I'm not going to make a permanent suggestion now, but I've used Night Moth and liked it, but it does darken it. So um, I'll find a, a comparable product and I'll let you know. So again, that's that. And you can see that Rebel is shiny, whereas it has a little bit shiny finish, semi matte finish, whereas Ho is remarkably darker. Now, Here's where it gets fun. <laughs> now, the, here I have um, Riri... No, wait, hold on. I picked it the wrong too. Um, here we go. I have Riri Boy and Up the Amp. Now, 
I've been seeing people buzz about this on Instagram and on blogs that these two colors are the exact same shade and I have to tell you they really really are. Um, Reed Boy pretty much is just the matte or retro matte version of Up The Amp and I actually prefer it a lot better. Now, if you were unable to get your hands on Reeve Boy and you can't afford up the amp, Revlon does have a product called Berry Hot, H-A-U-T. I think there's an E at the end. I'm not sure. And um, it is the same color exactly as up the amp, but its staying power is completely different. Like, it's the same color, same exact shade, but when you apply it, you have to reapply it, I would say, every two hours, whereas up the amp, you'll get four or five hours, depending on what you're doing. I've gotten six hours if I was just lightly drinking coffee and not not really eating any, you know, messy foods. So, um, Riri Boy, you're going to get that even longer wear. Like, if you're just lightly drinking, or even just lightly eating, you can get upwards of eight hours of wear without having to reapply the Riri Boy. If you're eating and other things with uh, Riri Boy, you may have to reapply every five, six hours, but still, six to eight hours is a fantastic wearing time. It will make you, it allows your lap lipstick to last so much longer than if you're applying every, you know, two hours. So, let's get to swatches. So, this is up the amp. As you can see, I wear mine a lot. And then, this is Riri Boy. As you can see, they're pretty the same. Now I'm going to swatch them on the hand. So on top, I mean on the bottom, I'm going to have, that's the amplified up the amp. And this is the retro matte Riri Ri Ri Boy. Now as you can see, they're the same color, except for this one kind of dragged at the skin. It's a little patchy, whereas this glides on very smoothly. You know what would be really good, and I suggest this, and I tried it, and I actually really liked how it looked, is to apply the Riri color underneath. So say, for example, you want to apply um, Ho, apply Rebel over it, or even Rebel Gloss, you know, to get that really long-lasting look. Um, yeah, so if you wanted to use... Um, use Ho and apply Rebel Gloss, that looks nice, or apply Rebel over or under Ho to have a moisturizing or a glossy look to it, and it makes it last longer because you have that base underneath or the top. And uh, with Up The Amp, I applied Up The Amp over Riri Boy, and I really liked the way it looked because it kind of glossified just slightly the look of Riri Boy without making it look like I had super glossy lips and it had that long wear time. So I really liked that combination. Um, another thing that looks really nice over Riri Boy is the um, Nikki 2 gloss. So um, you really can get creative because it's a nice purple. It's, it leans a little pink so you can kind of really soften it up if it's too much for you or darken it if you'd like to with a little bit of Night Moth, a little bit of Current Liner. So um, you can do a lot with it and I like that. So the next two products are the the powder blush, which is the Hibiscus Kiss, and it does have her signature on it. I'm not going to be swatching it because I bought it for collecting purposes only. Soon, baby. I bought it for collecting purposes only, which I know is kind of stupid, but um, there we go. It's got her signature in it. I really couldn't give a damn about her signature, but I collect MAC, so um, I kind of do give a damn, I guess. So there you go, you got your blush down there and your bronzer up there. I would have loved to have seen this product, maybe with a re design on the package itself, so that I could use the blush without feeling bad, or without feeling like I'm ruining a collectible. So, um, that's that. And I also got the, uh, the Barbados Girl, which is the Luster Drops. My son's trying to put a flower in my hair. Are you trying to make me pretty? Yeah. Oh, that's sweet. You know, like it? I like it. Thank you. Thank I, like it. I like it too. So, um, we have I'm sorry guys. We have luster drops. Goodbye. Soon. We have luster drops, which pretty much just I've never actually used the luster drops before, and I got them only because they were part of the collection, and like I said, I'm a little bit of a collector. So, um they come in this little tube and they're supposed to illuminate they're supposed to illuminate your face, make you glowy. So, um, they come in a little thing like this, and they got the dropper. 
and I'm just going to drop a little bit above here. So I literally just put a tiny drop there, and I'll blend it out for you guys to see. So as you can see, it's just a sheer bit of glow. You can see it on my you hand. Want it? I do want it, baby. It will look better in the sun, and I think that's the whole purpose of it. And the good thing about this product is that if you wanted to, you can place it within your um, foundation, within your, your base. This way it's a little bit subtler. If you don't want to look too glowy or too bronzy, you can put it in, and that helps to um, just give you a natural glow. Or you can put it over your makeup and just dab it on here where you would highlight, or even right here. Just a tiny little bit right there would really bring attention to your eyes. So that's my suggestion for use of the Barbados um, Barbados Girl Drops. As you can see, it's just a subtle glow, but it's really nice. Like in person, it's a little bit more bronzy. I'm not sure I would slather it all over my face or put it in my foundation, but you can do that, especially if you're a little bit darker in tone, maybe like medium skin tone. I'm kind of light. But uh, right here, if you're kind of light, would look really nice. It's just a finishing touch. Um, so that's it for the collection. Like I said, I um for Riri for Riri Woo, which is I believe it's gonna be released again in August, I know that uh or October I mean, in the special packaging, so you can look out for that. I think it's gonna be Riri Woo and Talk That Talk, something like that. So you can look out for that. And like I said, if you weren't able to get your hands on Ho, uh Riri Woo or Riri Boy, you can check out Ruby Woo, Up the Amp, and Rebel. Check out their respective glosses, Rebel Gloss. Um you can also check out Berry Hot. And I'm not sure I have a really um, drugstore comparison for the Riri Woo. I know there are some great matte Revlon colors that come in that nice red. But none of them are very, very similar to the Riri Woo. Riri Woo is, is pretty, but Ruby Woo is suiting. So if, if you can get your hands on Riri, Ruby Woo, I think it would be a great staple in your collection. If you like that red color. Um, so that's the collection. And I thank you so much for watching. I already have comparison. Yes, baby. I already... I already have comparison. I already have comparison swatches up on my Instagram, so you can check them out if you'd like to see comparison lip swatches, not and hand swatches, lip swatches and hand swatches on my Instagram at Recycled Stardust, and you can check out my blog cosmoholic.blogspot.com, and I'll I'll be putting up the pictures from my Instagram there shortly, along with a detailed uh, description on how I feel about each shade. Thank you so much for watching, and bye bye. I appreciate it. Bye bye. Bye bye.